and fish blanket river in latest mass kill. Authorities blame low oxygen levels made worse by receding floodwaters as locals say latest event much more severe than previous events. Millions of fish have died in another mass kill in the lower Darling Baki River near Menindi, 12 hours west of Sydney and 9 hours north of Melbourne. Footage shows dead fish, mostly bony bream, but also Murray cod, golden perch, silver perch and carp, blanketed across the river's surface. Resident Graham Crabbe said the scale of the mass kill on Friday was unfathomable. It's horrendous here today, he said, speaking from the riverbank about 5 kilometers upstream of Menindi. The river is just white. I'm looking at probably a kilometer or a kilometer and a half of fish and they're all dead. It's unfathomable. A department spokesperson said the deaths were due to low oxygen levels in the water as floodwaters receded. Significant volumes of fish including carp and bony herring, nutrients and organic matter from the floodplain are being concentrated back into the river channel. The current hot weather in the region is also exacerbating hypoxia, as warmer water holds less oxygen than cold water and fish have higher oxygen needs at warmer temperatures, the spokesperson said. This event is ongoing as a heat wave across western NSW continues to put further stress on a system that has experienced extreme conditions from wide-scale flooding. The spokesperson said the bony bream population typically booms and busts over time. It blooms in population numbers during flood times and can then experience significant mortalities, or busts, when flows return to more normal levels. Jeff Looney, a photographer from Menindi, said the latest mass kill was much more severe than the fish deaths earlier this year. This time there's hardly live fish out there, he said. Crab said the fish would have washed through to Menindi by Saturday. Then it will be just dead rotting fish through the township and people won't be able to use the water, he said. Ultimately, fish kill events happen because the quality of the environment cannot sustain fish life, she said. It is important to remember that fish kill events impact not only the large body fish like the Murray cod and bony bream, but also the small body fish like the gudgeons that are essential to maintaining a healthy aquatic ecosystem. Associate Professor Joy Becker, from the University of Sydney School of Life and Environmental Sciences. The independent MP Justin Field said we are living in the age of climate change, with increasingly extreme floods and droughts being compounded by poor government decisions. No one should think fish kills on this scale is natural, he said. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe.